So it can be a lot of people who are going to be dying. It can be a lot of people who are going to be dying. But the angel of death is already in the country of Kenya. You hear that? Mm. The angel of death is actually in the country of Kenya. Right and now. I have like in between. I don't know how they do it because you guys, when they give a prophecy and then it happens, you guys will be like, why didn't you just like talk to God and say, God, change it? And then when they come and tell you that this is going to happen or this, uh, I've seen this happening. And then we pray and then that thing doesn't happen. We then label them as liars. Yes, people, this one is a scary prophecy that was given by the sharpest prophet in Africa, Prophet Hubert Angel. And we're going to be listening to what he said about Kenya. Let's just get right into it. But before we do that, if you're in the diaspora and you want to get a reliable insurance plan, you can connect with Diaspora Insurance Funeral Cash Plan. And these ones, they will just give you up to £20,000. Just check the link in the description and then you'll be able to connect. Let's get right into the prophecy. The thing I saw would be the one I'm say, telling you now, but when it goes to 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, it's not in order of how I saw it. The first thing I saw is a country of Kenya. Kenya. It's happening in Kenya. And it is something that really troubled my spirit. Mm. Because in the vision, I began to see like it was an angel of the Lord. Mm. And the angel was really, pl he planted his feet on top of a mountain. Mm. Facing Nairobi. Nairobi, Kenya. Mm. And in his hands, he was clasping the flag of the nation of Kenya. Mm. Mm. And as I saw the flag of Kenya, it was as though he was folding it the way they would do it in America, where you fold um, a flag mm. and give it to the deceased relatives. Mm. 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 And the thing of yeah. folding the... Where you, you want to give somebody who has lost yes. a relative, relative and you are burying the person and after burying the person they take a flag and put it I, he did not show me that but in the vision i could feel that's what is happening mm. Mm. Wow. Yeah, you, you can then feel from there vision. i saw him move with mm. god's speed mm. and i saw him stand in the center mm. of nairobi that's the king i'm talking about mm. right now. and a poor appeared you know that that flag I don't know what you call it. The ball. And he began to hoist the flag. Mm. Mm. And when he got to the top, sound, it's like a sound, like a big thud, mm. happened. And everyone in the surrounding area began to look towards that center. Mm. And they looked up and he began to lower the flag down. So the, the flag became half mast. Mm. This is Kenya I'm talking about. In Zimbabwe, we put... Mm. And I heard the voice of the Lord saying, this is not the angel of death. Mm. But the angel of death is already in the country of Kenya. You hear that? Mm. The angel of death is actually in the country of Kenya. Right and now. I heard it will cause the flag to go halfway. Mm. Mm. Half mast. We have that in Zimbabwe. I don't know in Kenya if you guys put your flag at So I'm not talking about some, I'm talking about Kenya now. Mm. Mm. So this so thing, whenever the flag is, is going halfway, it might mean a government official, it might mean uh, somebody of great importance in the, not that people are not important, I'm talking about politically here, mm. uh, or somebody that they revere, or a former this or whatever. I'm just giving you whatever it is, but I know. A political, mm. politically important person. Wow. That's what he's talking Why about. Why am I giving you in this way? Mm. Because of what I'm about to tell you. So God said, begin to pray. Mm. For I've given you many days and weeks to pray against it. Mm. Mm. Guys, this man... And when you say weeks, it might be 14 a, days. All right? Is no, that's two weeks. You've already gone to yeah. two weeks. Yes, sir. Mm. Yes, sir. All right, then you go. Maybe you might go to two years after that. I don't know. Mm. But when you say two, mm. when you say 
many weeks. Mm -hmm. Two is many weeks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Then he says, I've given you days and weeks. So mm -hmm. if we manage to push the weeks, mm -hmm. the days, it will get to mm -hmm. a week. Mm -hmm. Then we are able to push the second week. Mm -hmm. Now we've gotten to weeks. Mm -hmm. So in that period of two weeks, mm -hmm. we have the power to mm -hmm. shift. Mm -hmm. Because the idea here is not to say, let God do it. It's all right. No. So I've given you a time, but I want to tell you something. Mm. I don't want to make you lose your faith. Most times, when I come here to say these things, it might mean it's very difficult to change them. Mm. Oh, you hear that? That's what happens when he gives a prophecy for him. Prophet Jimmy Danger. If you want, you can go and check on his YouTube channel. You will see that most of the videos that he has done most of the prophecies that he has given they come to pass so that's why he's saying it's very difficult it's very difficult for you to say you are going to change what he has seen i don't know if they're they so th that's the, the interesting thing about prophecies you know i think the prophets these prophecies or these prophets will be in a like in between i don't know how they do it because you guys, when they give a prophecy and then it happens, you guys will be like, why didn't you just like talk to God and say, God, change it? And then when they come and tell you that this is going to happen or this, uh, I've seen this happening, and then we pray and then that thing doesn't happen, we then label them as liars. He's just saying he lied, he prophesied about this, and then it didn't happen. So it's like... <laughs> It's quite interesting. Like, how do you do it? If it was you, how were you going to be able to do with something like this? Well, since there is an instruction from God, mm. we just do it anyway. We, we, are, we, are, we are going to do it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We're going to pray yes, sir. against the death angel. Yes, sir. Mm. But from there, I begin to look back to where the angel was standing mm. prior to coming in the center of Nairobi. Mm. And I begin to see as it were a portal, a red portal, like, like a portal it opened. Mm -hmm. But beneath it, like a whirlwind, mm -hmm. I did not see any angel and anything there. And the Lord said, there is a death angel. Mm -hmm. And he said, he's just waiting for instruction to trigger as it were mm -hmm. a switch. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. God. Is it many? Is it one? We are praying. Yes, sir. Yes. Uh-oh. Now that one is a scary one. And as for me, I'm supposed to be going to Kenya. And so, but it's like I'm now scared now because of what he said. He said, I don't know, is it one or is it many? So it can be a lot of people who are going to be dying. It can be a lot of people who are going to be dying. Because he said, let's pray. Whether it's one or what. There's an angel, there's a portal that has been opened. It's just waiting for it. And then it happens. So. Hmm. And remember, when I give you this, when I come back again, it is refined every moment. I come back, if God has given me something new to add to it, I add it. Hmm. But I want you to pray for Kenya. Pray mm. for politicians there. Yes, mm. Pray for the head of state, Ruto. Yes, Pray for his wife. Mm. Mm. Pray for his cabinet. Pray for the opposition. Pray for everyone. Mm. Pray for ministers. Yes, mm. Pray again for the nation of Kenya. Every person in Kenya is important. Pray for them. Mm. Mm. Kenya, because we are praying for you. These that I've mentioned cannot be politicians and cannot be president and first lady of a country. Unless there is a nation and there are people in the nation to rule over. Yeah, that's true. So this is what I saw. An angel of death in the city. Mm. Not just in the city, in the whole country, but in the vision, I saw the location. So I'm just mentioning the location for you. Mm. Sometimes in visions, you just mention where you saw the angel. It, it might mean something. Uh, when it happens, did I say if? Or now, it might mean something. If it happens, when it happens, mm. might mean something. Mm. Mm -hmm. 
But as I'm seeing the whole thing, it was an issue of Kenya. I don't even know whether we have people that are coming from. This, this is what is happening. This is what is happening. I'd like to hear what you guys think about this one. But this is the prophecy that was released by Prophet Uberenjo. He said we should pray for Kenya. And when Prophet Uberenjo says pray for this country, it's true. We need to pray for that country because the man has given prophecies that has come to pass. You know, the Bible says when you hear a prophet speaking, uh, you can know whether the person is true or not by the results when a prophet says something and then it doesn't happen it means that person was, did not hear from god so as for prophet uber angel he says things and these things cannot be faked some most of the things that he gives prophecies about yes you can tell me that he prophesied about a lady in, a, in the church and then you say ah, ah, ah it was faked it was it was it was staged eh? that's okay but as for him, when he is prophesying things that are of international relevance or national relevance or regional relevance, when he gives prophecies like that and those things happen, those ones cannot be staged. Eh? You cannot stage that one. So I'd like to hear what you guys think about this one. And as usual, I'll see you in the next video.